welcome back. In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how I did my DIY curing station. So first thing you need is a box. This is the uh, shipping foam from the Anacubic Photon. You can use any type of cardboard. Uh, you need a UV light. Make sure you pick up one with the correct wavelength from your resin. Most of the resins will run to 400 nanometers of wavelengths. You're going to need some reflective material. I'm using these flexible mirrors. I'm going to leave the affiliate links in the description if you're interested. They're really cheap and easy to cut with the scissors. And this is optional. This is a turntable. Again, link in the description if you need to. This is solar powered, so you don't need to plug anything else. It just powers with the UV light. So now let's have a look on these reflective material or flexible mirrors as they call. So it is very thin. You can cut this with a pair of scissors and it comes with these protective film, the blue one that you see, but underneath that film you can, you can see it is uh, like a mirror. You can also use some alu aluminum foil, but this one uh, was quite cheap, I found on Amazon, and it comes with the uh, adhesive in, in the back, so easy for me to just you know, stick inside of the, 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 the box. So first thing you need to do is to measure uh, the size, unfortunately, I will need to patch a couple of sheets per side of the box, but you know, th that's not difficult. Just measure to your the box you're using and make sure you cut that with a pair of scissors. So make sure you have enough material to cover all the five sides of the internals of your box. So as I said, I'll need to patch a few, but the idea is very simple. You just cover the whole area internally with the material. As I said, you can peel and the back side of these um, sheets are adhesive. So you just, you know, stick them into the box and press firmly and make sure you cover the entire inner surface of your box. Once you've trimmed all to fit the internals, just remove the protective film and you have the reflective surface and that's pretty much done. That's the, the hard bit of the curing chamber. Now, if you opt for the uh, turntable, just put that in the middle. And of course, now you need to put the UV light inside somehow. So I'm using this type of reflectors. Um, you can, if you have a lid, you can kind of install that on the lid or as simple as finding a bracket, something that would go across the, the entire gap and, you know, stick that on top. In my case here, because I have this thick foam, I pierced a hole in here, which I'm gonna use a little peg to secure my reflector. Just simple as that. Turn the light on and voila, you have a curing chamber. And as you can see, the, the table now starts spinning. Uh, it's not very strong, so you might struggle with some heavy parts, but it's good enough for the small ones. And as you can see, my chamber is not very big. So just leave it like they're drying. I know you have the uh, washing cure these days going very cheap, but especially for me here in UK, this one is very handy when you have no sunlight. Thanks for watching, see you next time.